What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna be checking out Botchamania episode 456. Y'all already know. I had to check me out some more Botchamania. It's the one thing, one video I definitely am a big fan of checking out for sure. Appreciate all the love and support on the channel. You guys have been showing so much love and uh really getting the subscriptions up. Uh, shout out to all the new subscribers that uh, you know just can you know found out about my channel and sound shout out to the subscribers that have been around you know what i'm saying and I, I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys you guys have changed my life so uh we're gonna check this out appreciate all love and support let's get into this botch mania episode man all right ready three hey this is tiger style lee moriarty you can follow me on twitter or instagram at the lee moriarty thanks for watching botch mania if you're upset as some of your favorites on on <clears throat> forbidden door don't stretch you can most likely uh watch uh watch them on the newest edition of botch of mania <laughs> that's funny <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if you see something that sucks, say something. <laughs> really? That was the shit. <laughs> Oh no, definitely a box. Yeah, I knew she was gonna definitely be on here. Uh, Shotzi from uh, the few botches she had in this uh, women's ladder match. Oh man. Yeah, that, that was definitely a botch, but it still worked out. And send out the EMTs. Shout out to Chisel, man. Woo! Yep, definitely a botch. Yep, just major, just, just botches everywhere. She had to check if she was, she was okay. You alright? What was that? Oh my god. What the hell? Yeah, this was definitely a botch as well because they weren't evenly placed on the ladder. So it, the spot didn't look that great. Man. How does that happen? Definitely bought you, Ladies and gentlemen, still the IWGP World Heavyweight Champion, Jay White. So, wasn't that sound right? Still the IWGP World Heavyweight Champion. Yeah. Sounds pretty good. Jay White, is somebody going to come in and uh, put this up? Yes, yes. 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 Uh, hey, uh, would, would one of you guys please uh, yeah. assist the champ? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, look. look. That's good. <laughs> Oh, that looks so bad. Oh, my God. Get out for beauty shots. Okay. Thanks, John. I'm glad it's so amusing to you, John. But let me, let me just recap what I've been through tonight. That was bad. Table didn't break. 
And he in the Jordan 4s, man. All right. <laughs> Dude, he said it. Did he still look like a twitch? Oh, we're going to get the meme that I've been waiting to hear every time a table doesn't break. I hope we get that meme. Y'all know the meme. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, that looks like a sturdy table. Table did not break. Yes, every time. Yes, I ain't bring nothing to the table. When I'm the table, yes. Every time I see it, it makes my goddamn day. Woo! I love the video already. You know, Corey, when Ronda Rousey came to WWE a few years ago. My name's Pat. What did I call you? Corey. Um, so I'm still <laughs> with Corey. Yeah. Corey, you know? Jeez Louise. <laughs> what a dream that would be. But anyways, when Ronda came to the WWE. A matchup underway now for the SmackDown <laughs> Women's Championship. Pat is a gym, bro. Very Love familiar Pat. Uh -oh. to fans of AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling alike. And Archer comes oh. in on the cannonball into Colorado. <laughs> Fan getting injected during Forbidden Door main event. Also, why you? Also, a why? Uh, also, a you fucked up chance started. I think I did see there. It was at some mat. It was some point in the show where the fans was looking at something and reacting to something. I think this was that footage. Oh, okay. It was during that match. Oh. 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 Don't worry, folks. He'll get the help he needs. <laughs> I love this little intro for Taz. I didn't want to bring it up, but I heard that you're actually 78 years old. You look great, man. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, and also, I want to want to give props to uh, to QT Marshall. I mean, here we are, just one day removed from July 4th, Independence Day, here in the United States, and he is wearing a shirt that is the exact pattern of the flag of Nicaragua. Well, that's very interesting that you said that. Uh, actually, uh, Google image search uh, steered me wrong. It may be the Costa Rican flag. I'm going to have to do some more research on this test. Right. Yes, of course you will. I'll tell you something else that's interesting. Sonny Kiss is from Jersey. What? Slam through the table. A big time Becky Lynch gets the win. Is this normal? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is how blind people shake hands. Being like <laughs> you know, your square shape. That's probably a way to signal that she's good or whatnot. <laughs> I know I just watched the video on WWE Secrets, so a lot of times they'll do little touches and gestures to make sure that they're, you know, letting the other opponent or person know that they're good. So that's kind of what that was. Into a round hole, but you don't really fit, do you? You're like my I stone. think I finally figured out what crime you were found guilty of on your world. What's that? You talk too much. Uh-oh. <laughs> you talk too much. Never shut, shut up. up. I said you talk too much. Oh, boy, you never, never shut, shut up. up. Now, the wind-up in the lariat. Tons of power and explosivity. 
in those clotheslines. The man doesn't need to run to hit the ropes to drop Connors. Now a gut wrench. Damn. Obviously, I had no doubt until we just saw that last thing. I think, I think so. Yeah, he definitely said that on live on camera. That was bullshit. <laughs> We're gonna watch it again. We're gonna watch it again, Montez. What a mess up! Yeah, he was. Hey, he was definitely. <laughs> he definitely was selling that. Sometime soon, but talk about soon coming up right now. Gun Club, Austin, Colton, and Billy Gunn, and Max Caster take on the LA Dojo's DKC. Kevin Knight, Alex Coughlin, and Yuya Uimura. Yuya Uimura, sorry, I got tongue tied there. Well, listen, this is probably the highlight that I've been looking forward to getting to the most because we're at SmackDown. And Jericho, he's wrestling Kane. He's going to beat Kane. And you have what's called, and what Meltzer's called, the worst angle slam <laughs> of all time. And, Kurt, we're going to play that for you. And oh, no. The okay. Uh, <laughs> not much to break down. Oh, here. yeah. The problem is Jericho was in front. So when Kane jumped up, he jumped backward. Oh, uh, yeah. You have to jump forward and up over my head. You don't jump backward. When you do... I can't carry you over top to flip you through for the angle slam. So I had to just fall backward. It was the worst angle slam I ever did. <laughs> and there, were, there were many reasons. Jericho being in front of Kane and Kane jumping backward. Mm -hmm. It had nothing to do with me. <laughs> oh, of course not. No. Oh, <laughs> not the, oh of course not. <laughs> this, I have never seen one of these intact before. It will not break. It, will not... it broke. Ah. Yeah, that's not supposed to happen. I'm gonna be honest with you. It... That sword's supposed to cut through damn near anything. Damn near. It's not supposed to have been like that, but I don't know. Oh. Ah. Wait, don't go. <laughs> what? Oh my! Could it be? It is! It's ghost time! <laughs> Oh, oh my crazy gosh. spot. Sammy likes it, or excuse me, Sammy doesn't like it. How could he, but Eddie likes it. Boy, you, you got this, this guy, when he's vertical, he'll kill you. Just talk about Brody Lee. And Bro, Brody King, nobody there. Brody King. And now <laughs> Moxley. Moxley's trying to get to Eddie and uh, Cesaro to bury the hatchet. I'm not sure Eddie Kingston and Claudio Castagnoli can ever coexist. <laughs> Every discussion about this match. We're talking about uh, Daniel Bryan. Well, Bryan, Bryan Daniels Daniels is Yeah, so I remember him saying that too on commentary. Jr. Man, uh, he he's not what he used to be on commentary as you know as we once know, but you know he's still still the voice of wrestling in our hearts. He does the best he can, you know, in the position he's in. But he, he definitely not what he used to be on commentary side of him, commentary side of things. But we still love him. Uh, got me going. Oh God, it's spreading! Fans have heard me say this a lot for years, uh, and that is, please put your shoes cookie on the switch. <laughs> Here we go. The game, the game, uh, related, uh, uh, signs. <laughs> That's so cool. I hate you. I hate the air that you breathe. I hate the fact that you're even living. You make me sick. <laughs> you should not be alive. You should not breathe the same air I breathe. You are scum. Fortunately for you two, we are very well versed in how to handle a thunderstorm. <laughs> Sandbag. <laughs> Here. You tried carrying her for a month. Uh, I can't wait to bury you with it! I know writers who use subtext, and they're all cowards. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, I did see this clip on on Twitter. Oh, my. I think the board broke before the impact. Oh, such a funny botch. Let's watch I've this. I've seen one of these intact before. Yep, here we go. It broke. Ah! Oh, ah. hey, don't go. Yes, it was I. Danofsky, Christopher, with a K, Winwood. Or you could just call me Dino Winwood. 
You might know me from New Legacy or uh, W3. I know, right? It's pretty crazy. You might know my roommate, Howdy Price, as well, but I'm sorry about that. Uh, today, I'm going to read you uh, an article from the Wrestling Observer Newsletter about an ECW event that happened. Now, if you know me, you know there's only one way to do this. <clears throat> Although there were some memorable highlights, such as Brian Pillman at UFC's Paul Verlands, if I'm saying that incorrectly, get a better last name. Overall, the <laughs> six-one ECW Arena show was regarded as a lackluster. JT Smith and Little Guido beat Bubba Ray and Devon Dudley. Match itself was terrible, falling apart when Devon slipped off the middle rope. Stevie Richards came out and said he found a woman slutty enough to be Raven's whore and introduced Divine Brown. Now the angle was ruined when Brown tried to walk across the ring in exceedingly high heels and kept slipping and was laughing as the angle was going on. Paul Heyman then came out and said the next 90 minutes was going to be so wild that if it wasn't, he guaranteed Divine Brown would give the fans free blowjobs. That's right, free blowjobs in the parking lot after the match. Jeez. Now, two <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Scorpio was scheduled to regain the television title from Shane Douglas, but he had a legit staff infection and couldn't work. Douglas demanded a match and proceeded to beat, in quick succession, El Puerto Ricano, Don E. Allen, Devin Storm, and Mikey Whipwreck. Several wrestlers came to clean up the ring, including Pitbull number two, two and Douglas challenged him, calling him Anthony, his real name. Oh. It started strong, but as they started wrestling on the mat, the crowd got restless with boring and where's our blowjobs champ ECW <laughs> was a different breed of wrestling the fans the true fans of ECW imagine if Twitter was a thing back when ECW was at its prime it would have been worse than AEW fans. I'm telling you this now. Because ECW, hardcore ECW fans, they were a, a whole new level of, of intense. <laughs> Clearly a night to remember. Well, that's the excerpt, folks. Thank you for watching. And remember, because I can't. <laughs> That was cool, man. That 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 was definitely pretty cool. Yeah, that we talked about this uh, on our podcast in the clutch I podcast. Have you. Yep. <laughs> that was the elephant. That was the elephant. Yo, that was definitely the elephant. <laughs> Jesus! Oh God! Oh! Oh Jesus! God! Oh Mary, Mother of Jesus, Jesus of Nazareth! <laughs> so it's come down to this, has it? A fight to the death, a mano, a mano, man to man, just you and me and my God! <laughs> <laughs> On our wedding night, I was a virgin. When we made love, you've seen the film, haven't you? The Wizard of Oz? Yeah, I've seen it. Well, when we made love, whenever he, you know, when he came, he just scream out. I'm coming! <laughs> That's all. Just nobody can stop me. Wow. It's like four on two here with Hikaleo here at ringside. Wait a minute. Bro, what? they're stupid, Wait, bro. Uh, no, is that, is that in the, the catwalk above the United Center? Look! Oh, it's 
<laughs> Yo, you wanna learn how to do a fucking infinite? I'ma teach your motherfucking bitch ass. Easiest shit in the motherfucking Marvel 3, Marvel 2. Fuck it. I don't give a fuck. Iron Man. Let's stop this motherfucker off. Ow, 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 ow. Drop that shit. Oh my oh, okay. god. Okay, I'm gonna cross body mirror. Oh god, foil. Alright, I'm gonna cross body mirror. Oh, foil. <laughs> I got it. I'm gonna cross body mirror. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm gonna cross body mirror. Just you watch that. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna cross body mirror. What could. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I love the commentary. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Vince went raw crowd. Still bow to him after the WSJ article. <laughs> this is so accurately true. <laughs> this is so true, bro. If you haven't seen The Boys Season 3, go watch it. Fucking phenomenal show. Love that show. Season 3 was fantastic. Oh, man. Junior blows by no fear. <laughs> <laughs> Referee. Fuck <laughs> off. I love that. No, oh, I mean, I love that clip, bro. <laughs> You're right. I uh, I don't I don't like myself. I love myself. <laughs> you haven't been to work in three days. What have you been doing? I've been sitting right here. I picked up my life exactly where I left off a thousand years ago. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's eight o'clock. Konnichiwa! <laughs> You can't just sit here in the dark listening to TNA music. I can't <laughs> do the right thing. Our friendship never be the same. Somebody didn't strengthen their titties. <laughs> what? Reports involving former WWE superstars oh and my semen has resulted in some <laughs> negative <laughs> attacks on our company. So we're reaching out directly to you, our fans, to provide malicious attacks against the company AEW. We've initiated a new <laughs> campaign called Stand for WWE. <laughs> we encourage you to sign on to post by us and show the world the power of Simps for WWE. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm WWE superstar Becky Lynch at I stand. WWE, it is up to us to use our stands to let the people of the <laughs> know that we stand. So join me and the whole WWE universe and stand. Last Monday, we began a global initiative to stand for WWE. I believe WWE fans have been and continue to discriminate against the members of the elite. I ask you to stand <laughs> for WWE. And you did. But check this out. Keep it up. I'm a nigga. <laughs> Yo, that last. Bro. I don't. I don't this is Ben Star. I, I can't even get mad at this clip because I remember this from many years ago. And I just. I just like. Whatever, bro. I don't even care. It's fucking Vince, dog. This shit's so fu It's fucked up. <laughs>
the fact that they combined all of this. That shit was funny, bro. Oh, my God, dog. Who remembers when Vince said that on live television? Bro? I believe WWE fans have been and continue to discriminate against members oh of the elite. Oh, my ask you God. To stand for WWE, and you did. But check this out. <laughs> Keep it up. I'm a nigga. You want to talk about discriminating? I issued an order that if you show up in Connecticut wearing something, whether it's a T-shirt or a wristband, you may be forced to take it off in order to determine your right to be allowed to work. My oh. Now, whether you're a Democrat, Republican, or independent, denying my right to be blatantly discriminatory against superstars is un-American, unconstitutional, and elite. I encourage you to stand up for you. My semen! And stand for <laughs> WWE. Thank you. Oh my God. Being a WWE superstar is something I always wanted to be from the time I was a kid. WWE is that for me, and it has been for my entire life. To be a part of WWE is hard <laughs> it takes your breath away and you so sit back funny and look what at they're everything. Doing I never wanted to do anything but be a WWE superstar. The first thing I'd like to say is, <laughs> you, elite. <laughs> you for standing up to WWE. <laughs> Years we all love to look down our noses on the organization and the product, proving that the elite will not be bullied or intimidated. This past Monday, I asked you to exercise your freedom of speech, and tens of thousands of you flocked to Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, generating over 1.3 million disparaging remarks, untruths, and malicious comments. Here are some of the things that you had to say. For instance, Cody from Facebook. WWE have been in my life since I was a child. They promote my family on their programming. Go WWE. I'm proud that so many of you continue. Let's stand for WWE. <laughs> you. Elite. The WWE stands many who are man children. It's up to us to raise our voices in a unifying message to show the people of any W that we see you. And support the conflict. Oh my God, Join bro. me and the WWE universe. This is so and great. Stand, stand for WWE has garnered millions of your bad posts on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. This I is repeat, so gross. Millions. Great. The stand for WWE initiative is, is achieving so monumental <laughs> results. Certain members of the media, they're a little less likely to write truths. The elite, the, 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 the elite, a little less likely to be looking up at us, and even government officials are concerned about your posts and we appreciate your support for standing wwe thank you this is great bro you show the proper respect to the organization that helped you come it's a time honored tradition and bret hart didn't want to come and that's something i would have never ever expected from bret because he is known somewhat as a calm Joe Titan in this business. And crowing about that, it would have never crossed my mind that Brett would not have wanted to show that superstar banana in his case. <laughs> that was great, bro. That whole last segment, Chef's Kiss, great. Another fantastic ep episode by Botchin Mania, man. Love their videos. Y'all been telling me I need to check out Promo Joe. I think that'll be next on my list to try to do this week or whatnot. So I may check out some of his vids. I know you guys been like, yo, please check out Promo Joe. So I may do that as well. But hey, man, this was great. Y'all already know what I'm going to pin as the comment, man. I am the table, bro. That's that's all I'm going to put down below. I am the table. If, you, if you're the table, put it down below. But I appreciate all love and support. Roll 290k. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.